on that point are the ways and means of financing campaign at different at different levels of government for example presidential race versus a race for the senate or uh, for a city mayor campaigns at the federal level president senate house of representatives all have the same basic logic there is a cap that is inflation adjusted for contributions to candidates um States are allowed to set their own limits for how much one can give to a candidate. And states are permitted to establish various types of public financing. Not many of them do, but there are some states that have explored offering uh, various schemes for public financing. Usually what it involves is if a candidate raises a threshold number of small contributions, say you raise a hundred contributions of $5 or something like that, then the state will give you a lump sum to campaign or will match your contribution. So states are permitted to do that. States are not permitted to do away entirely with individual contributions. That's a, a right that the Supreme Court says, you know, individuals have to give money to candidates. But so states can do things somewhat differently, um, and many do. Uh, the same thing goes for, for city elections, mayors, and so on. Uh, most American cities have nonpartisan elections, so parties are not necessarily involved, but still candidates can raise money at the state level subject to limits set by their state. So again, my home state of Massachusetts, uh, the limit for what one can raise running at the state level or the municipal level is $1,000 per election cycle as opposed to the 3,300 at the federal level. So states can, can do things like that. Uh, so generally there is less money spent at the state level, but again, you see the same basic logic that many candidates don't have meaningful opposition. And if they do raise money, 